As I continued to expand the envelope on this DJI Neo, it quickly became apparent to me that one of the riskiest features is how close the camera is to the edge, and it's not a lot of protection. So I've come up with a system to function as a bumper against walls. I was trying to find something that was inexpensive and that I could take on and off pretty quickly. Didn't find anything out there that was under seven, eight dollars. A lot of it required you to screw in or clip in and it wasn't gonna be simple. I've got a solution and it cost me around a dollar or less, depending on what you happen to have on hand. So let's go to a top-down shot and get into all the design features of this simple yet effective solution for your Neo. Look how close the protective edge is here to keep the camera from getting damaged. So if you're going into a front-end collision, the camera, the camera is really susceptible to damage. Now you get a little protection from here, and let me show you. So imagine this is a wall or anything that you might run up against. DJI Neo is just coming along here and you're flying. Happy, 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 boom. You get a little protection from the side here, but if you hit anything on an angle, you're gonna damage it. So I came up with this real simple solution using what? Velcro and popsicle sticks. I tried all sorts of different designs, but I wanted to have something that would tie into the structure down here. Could be easy to take on and off, wouldn't affect the aerodynamics too much. I left the fuzzy side on the piece that can come on and off, and all I did is just take a regular popsicle stick, some Sharpie markers, because I like to use red, and just came in here and Darken that in. Now uh, you don't have to do that. You could just use the regular popsicle you stick you if you wanted. But you know, it's just a little bit of detail. It dries pretty quickly. And this goes with my whole red tape theme. It's amazing how many videos I've seen where people will just walk by a Neo that's sitting on a path or something with the gray background. That's why gray and red on the battery, on the back, all of this helps you recover your vehicle. You can make the tape a little longer if you wanted, but I don't think you need a lot. Red sticks out on the gray fairly well. And I happen to use black Velcro with low profile. I'll post all of what you need down below, options for tape, because I think the tape is an important idea. I used black, and then I had some white Velcro, because I guess I could have put black on there. Removed the safety guard. I just wanted it to be less obvious. This kind of hooks into the bottom like this and push it down I'm trying to give you a, the best look here and then just push it on kind of doubles or triples up on the safety fence here now one of the things you got to worry about is if you get this out too far you're going to get into the range of the camera so we'll check that later on in the video and see if it's good to go velcro will also give you a little bit of a flex and it kind of holds up pretty well. This comes in both black and white. Velcro is one of those things that you just can't get enough of. It's such a problem solver in so many different ways. Now, if you didn't want to go and buy a whole bunch of Velcro, you could buy some from the dollar store or dollar 25 store or whatever it is. And this has both the fuzzy and the hook side. That will work well. This will give you an idea of what I cut out. Just used a box cutter and carefully went in, scribed the popsicle stick. This is a real thin popsicle stick. On a scale, so about 42 and that much. The strength of the Velcro is pretty impressive. I'm going to line that up and put it on the other patch. And why am I doing that? Well, because I want it to match here. I'll take the sticky part off. This is the good stuff and it's awful sticky. Leaned it in here, got it good and flat and just line up and then I just pressed it on the side of the Neo. And you can just press it in like this. And that's your solution on both sides. The true test is how well does it work up against a surface, in this case this piece of wood. So you can see that it really does 
help protect the camera. And we're really banging on it. And the Velcro is staying in place. But if for some reason you're doing some flying and you don't think you're going to be anywhere near or running around a bunch of close-in spaces where you might damage the camera, you can just quickly remove the safety guard and fly the Neo without the guards. Some people might be saying, okay, well, you got the camera on. Will this block the image? Let's test that out. Here's a view of the camera. So the guards are not blocking it whatsoever, but we're going to use these two popsicle sticks and see how far out you can stretch before you get blocked view. About that far, another three quarters of an inch before the view is taken out by the guards. For those who think this is going to affect the image. Again, if you wanted to extend that out a little bit, you could on either side. I think it'd be a little silly. I'm actually going to use the Velcro here for some other projects. Check out those videos coming soon somewhere up there. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of simple, low cost solutions to quadcopter challenges, making and breaking things, home repairs, designs of all kinds, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what safety features and simple solutions you might see.